let us start parallel operation of transformer actually one thing i have to tell you here in parallel operation why we have to start parallel operation okay our need of parallel operation and like you know what are the advantages of parallel operation will be there what are the disadvantages of parallel operation will be there okay but out of these like you know problem cannot be formed okay so in this what are the conditions of parallel operation okay in saying what are the conditions of parallel operation like you know some questions can be expected okay and again there like you know of course in transformer we are going to have five conditions and we have to meet five conditions most probably in order to achieve the proper parallel operation okay so let me tell you like you know as i told you advantage disadvantage why we are going for parallel operation not required because this is simplified course okay in parallel operation in parallel operation five conditions will be there out of five conditions two conditions will be essential conditions compulsory conditions means that my transformers is, are supposed to compulsorily essentially they have to follow two conditions under that conditions if those conditions if somebody don't follow can we expect any question no okay so out of five conditions two conditions compulsorily we have to follow so remaining are going to be three conditions so out of these three conditions three conditions like you know they are satisfactory conditions if it is like you know okay even though you don't meet the condition exactly okay so it's okay okay conditions are going to be practical like you know conditions so essential conditions we don't get any questions problems in satisfactory conditions like you know if you don't meet that particular condition what will happen question can come okay out of these three conditions again one condition because of something like you know question cannot come so two conditions only like you know most probably questions can come and in this like you know i will tell you most of the publications okay they have done greatest mistake because like you know anyway we are going to discuss okay so in parallel operation okay so in parallel operation in the sense uh, two transformers will be connected in parallel okay so for example if i think of my transformer this is resistor this is leakage impedance and this is going to be v2 this is going to be i2 and this is impedance z2 okay and if you supply v1 here this is going to be e2 okay so in parallel operation is going to be current sharing load should be shared for example if i have 10 kva transformer and if i have 5 kva transformer total is going to be 15 kva will be the installed capacity okay so in that installed capacity how much capacity it can share for example if output requirement is 10 kilowatt at unity power factor okay if output requirement is 10 kilowatt at unity power factor now i have installed capacity of 10 kva transformer 5 kva transformer that particular 10 kilowatt should be shared by these two okay so means in load sharing in load sharing like you know serious impedance and one thing let me tell you you need not learn anything to solve problems of parallel operation okay so let me tell you that logic also right away for example if you know like you know two resistors parallel operation if current flowing is il okay for example this is z1 this is z2 total impedance okay so here this is going to be il now how much current will flow through this i1 is nothing but total current il into other impedance z2 divided by total impedance z1 plus z2 is going to be called as current division rule in network theory okay for example if two resistors are connected in parallel how much will be the current flowing in one of the resistor is going to be total current into other resistance divided by total resistance that's it if you know this it's more than enough or if i think of i2 equal to total current il into other impedance z1 other impedance z1 divided by z1 plus z2 that's it that's it okay if you know this equation everybody should know obviously because it is from network theory very basic thing okay if you know this like you know parallel operation of transformer is done okay anyway in order to reach there let me take one more condition for example e2 ze2 v2 forget about this primary forget about this primary e2 ze2 v2 so for example this is going to be e2 of transformer a and this is ZEA 
okay zd2 of transform a these two are connected in series these two are connected in series in parallel when e2 of transform of b these two are connected in parallel okay so if these two are connected in parallel if these two are connected in parallel so this is going to be zeb okay now for example if this magnitude of impedance sorry voltage in used voltage is not equal to this okay forget about all for example if i have one resistance only kind of dc okay so for example this is 100 volts one ohm okay so but this is 90 volts for example this is one ohm one ohm how much current will flow through this how much current will flow through this called as circulating current so that circulating current is going to be 100 minus 90 under no load condition when it is open circuited 100 minus 90 10 divided by 2 is going to 5 amperes okay that question only can come maximum here okay so anyway this let me remove this okay now let us see like you know this is the case when ea for example ea is not equal to eb or ea magnitude is more than eb more than eb circulating current will flow or not yes okay so how much is that circulating current is going to be ea minus eb by z ea plus z eb that's it so this is going to be ea minus eb by z ea plus z eb okay so this is going to be the circulating current question that's it maximum that only they can give anyway why this condition come why this condition come if you see for example e2 is going to be secondary or not okay so these two primaries will be connected in parallel for example in a transformer in a transformer means if this is connected this will be connected and if another transformer also is there this will be connected to the same primary okay so to the same primary or same line primaries are connected to same line secondaries will be connected okay so for example this is the line okay so in this this is the primary and here in this this is the primary okay and this this is the primary and this is the secondary okay so primary for example this is connected to 100 volts okay so both the primaries are connected to 100 volts 100 volts but secondary for example this is 1000 volts but secondary this is 900 volts okay so when this is 1000 when this is like you know 900 1000 minus 900 divided by zea plus zeb will be the circulating current why that particular condition is coming supply voltage is 100 in the primary and the secondary no load voltage is 1000 volts so 100 1000 in the sense this is going to be 1 is to 10 transformer and same 100 volts is supplied to the same uh, kind of primary okay another transformer but in secondary i got 900 volts only what does it mean if you supply 100 volts here you are getting 900 volts only so this turns ratio is 1 is to 9 okay so when circulating current concept will come into picture whenever you have turns ratios of difference okay so when you have two transformers are having two different turns ratios automatically circulating currents will come that side okay so anyway they can ask only maximum circulating current magnitude okay how much will be the circulating current magnitude ea they will give minus eb divided by zea plus zeb now for example a few people may think of like you know maybe under loaded conditions for example when it is loaded when it is loaded combination of two transformers are loaded so when combination of two transformers are loaded how this particular load load current net uh, load current is going to be shared between these two questions can be asked to know questions cannot be asked till now they did not give why though it is actually very easy to solve or very easy to write it is very difficult to solve by online calculator okay so in order to prove that similar thing let me take an example in dc okay so similar thing if i take an example in dc let us compare like you know means let me consider here one of the problem 
okay in this problem what they have given terminal voltage drops from 250 volts at no load to 238 volts on uh, 60 amperes line currents connected in parallel with battery of 245 volts <laughs> means that i'm going to deal now dc generators parallel okay so there is no difference between dc generators parallel and transformers parallel operation and alternators parallel all are same all are same okay with uh, internal resistance of 0.1 ohm calculate generator current when load output is 50 amperes so let us do this particular problem in dc it will be very easy but the same dc related problem in transformer they cannot give why we will see for example generator dc generator okay and this is going to be dc generator connected in parallel with a battery and when the load current is 50 amperes and my battery is 245 volts and this is um, with an internal resistance of 0.1 ohm 0.1 ohm okay and terminal voltage drops from 250 volts 250 volts okay so see here for example this is a battery of 250 volts how much will be the output voltage when no load conditions 250 for example a load current for example generator current ig if generator current is 60 amperes generator current is 60 amperes my terminal voltage drops from 250 to 238 okay so 250 minus 60 into rg rg is going to be 238 so it will be reduced to 238 so what is this reduction 250 minus 238 is going to be 12 volts okay so 12 volts 12 volts voltage drop is going to occur here for 60 amperes current so 12 divided by 60 is going to be 1 by 5 so rg is going to be 0.2 ohm okay so let us think of this rg equal to 0.2 ohm okay how to calculate this you know terminal voltage vt okay so 250 minus vt divided by 0.2 kcl or nodal analysis of our network theory so 250 volts minus vt divided by 0.2 plus 245 minus vt by 0.1 is going to be this plus this is going to 50 that's it so 250 minus vt divided by 0.2 250 minus vt terminal voltage divided by 0.2 plus 245 minus 0.1 sorry minus vt divided by 0.1 is going to be this current plus this current equal to load current is 50 amperes okay so now let me calculate terminal voltage from here okay so how much will be the terminal voltage if you calculate it will become 243.33 volts and if you calculate ig generator current they asked calculate generator current when the load output is 50 amperes okay so how much is ig ig is going to be 250 minus vt by 0.2 so 250 minus 243.33 by 0.2 okay so is going to be 33.33 some some amperes okay i don't exactly remember i think 33.33 amperes okay so you may ask me sir this question is like you know easy only so means just two three steps why don't we get the same because if you see 250 volts 245 volts okay so 250 volts 245 volts for example if load current is zero how much will be the circulating around 250 minus 245 5 divided by 0 0.3 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 circulating current so when circle when you have different voltages also load conditions they ask in dc but why don't they ask in ac because in complex mode by using their calculator we cannot solve for example if it is for example this is 250 volts only for transformer secondary this is 245 volts only for transformer secondary this is zea of transformer a this is zeb of transformer b so this is going to become complex mode now this is going to become complex mode now so 250 250 minus vt by complex mode r plus jx 245 minus vt by complex mode is going to 50 amperes at some power factor will be there at some power factor 
okay then means this has to be inverse this has to be inverse it will be power factor and though it look very simple with 3c but it's not simple with ac with their calculator with online calculator so this question they did it did not come till now and most probably they will not uh, give you even if they give what grade will end nothing not an analysis okay now we will see the second condition of transformer it means if we can complete second condition which is going to be like you know current flowing through one of the register is going to be total current into other resistance divided by total resistance if you know means parallel operation will be over we will see soon